Grilled cheese is delicious on its own, but what if we add a little heat and even more cheese? Today I'm making a jalapeno parmesan crusted grilled cheese. Yeah, jalapeno parmesan crusted grilled cheese. So what have I got going on right now? Well, I have a whole loaf of sourdough that I have cut up. You don't have to use sourdough. That's just what I suggest if you're looking for a little bit of more twang in your bread, if that even makes sense. So you're going to go ahead and take some butter that is softened at room temperature and slather it all on that bread because I believe it's Paula Deen that says or, yeah, Paula Deen, the more butter, the better, or something like that. I don't know. But the butter is a key ingredient with this because it's going to help make things stick. So I'm going to take these thinly sliced jalapenos and just press them into that butter. It also helps because my sourdough is pretty soft, so it kind of just melts right in there. And I'm going to let this guy hang out right here because so we're going to get them all nice and parmesan -y. I don't have exact measurements for you guys today. And that's mainly because this recipe is for as many as you want to make. So I've got my nice skillet right here. It's over medium, low, medium, high heat. I'm going to go ahead and put that piece of bread in there and add some cheddar cheese. Now while this is browning off, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So Joe is over there snacking on one that I just made it. So my cheese might not be a little, as melty as I want it to be for him, but how is it tasting over there, Stroops? Again, have not taken a bite yet. Okay. But will in a minute. I have to tell you, I love grilled cheese. Okay. Before we get into this, because someone who can't cook <laughs> can at least butter up some some bread they sure and throw can. a slice of cheese on there. So my college days, grilled cheese was where it was at. But this has got a different flair to it. Let's give it a try. That's fantastic. It, I, I took a small bite of the one that I have sitting right here, and it reminds me almost of a jalapeno popper. Mm. Not quite, though. It's, it's kind of like nachos. It feels like something I've had before. Right. It tastes like something you had before. So it's nothing crazy. I, I want to say it almost tastes like nachos. That's what I'm going it with. It does kind of taste like nachos, but yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, so I mean, it would make a great, thank you, thank you. I try my best. Um, you can do some ranch with it. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. ranch, yeah, oh, Chipotle ranch, that would be good. So Joe, I have to ask, since neither one of us are from Fort Wayne, Correct. Have you heard the folks around here call it grilled, no, excuse me, cheese toasties? No. I've no, never heard apparently of that. that's, a thing. that's a thing. So if somebody is out there watching right now, send us a message. Yeah. Explain the cheese toasties to me. I get we're kind of toasting it. Maybe wow. that's where it comes from, but not entirely sure. Help us out. So I just have this going. Um, it's not exactly crisp on this side yet, but you want to get it nice and golden brown so it's easy to take off that skillet and just eat it on up. And if you don't like it as hot, definitely take those seeds and ribs out of the jalapeno. If you want to try this recipe, I'll have it on wayne.com later today. If you can't find any of my recipes, just go up to the search bar and hit cooking with Sierra and you'll find all the recipes that I've done. 720